Today I'm gonna show a new system. Today I'm gonna show a new system, and they call it Pure OS. Beam. Call it Pure OS. Bam. In this video, you will learn how to install Pure OS GNU Linux onto a USB stick or a PC, of course. On the channel 48. In this video, we're gonna install Pure OS 9 onto a laptop. In fact, I'm gonna build a distro on Pure OS. Uh, I never did it before, so I wanted to do it once because, in fact, this will be a distribution um, that probably will be completely different. Uh, certain applications will just not run on this operating system. Um, and we will have to find alternatives to, to you know, to still be able to use free software and still do the things that we want to do. Now I must tell you that I already created the distribution and in fact, yeah, I lost that distribution. It went wrong and at a certain moment I could not get into the desktop anymore and it was totally messed up. So I learned a whole lot uh thanks to that because i've been working all weekend on that distribution and i would release it today i even created a video about it and i messed up the size of the dvd was at the final build 100 megabytes too big so i had to do it again and then i did the cleaning of the system and then something went wrong you know say pasa but um I'm back of course we don't give up and I'm now here with uh, effect the gnome version I, I, I installed the KDA first and in fact I changed well I'm gonna do some things afterwards but first I'm gonna uh, show you how to install pure OS if you want to uh, try out the operating system from purism that's the name of the company they are also the creators of the Librem 5 uh, Linux phone that soon will come out okay so keep an eye on this company these guys they even create laptops and they put their operating system onto onto it um just for the record i have nothing to do with pure os or with purism i just want to you know create a distribution on completely free software uh proprietary free and that's why i'm you know gonna install pure os but i thought you know, let me make a video of uh, how to install Pure OS, just in case you want to, you know, as well do it, because it looks really nice and it's a very good and stable operating system. So let's get started. Now to get started, you will need a USB stick uh, to create a bootable USB, or you could as well burn a DVD, you know, and then boot from it. All right, so that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna reboot the machine. I'm gonna hit F9 on my keyboard. So it will boot into, not sure what I did. I think I turned it off. Okay, I'm hitting F9. So we're gonna get in the upstart menu and I'm gonna boot up from the TDK uh, drive. That's this one. And I'm as well gonna install it to a USB drive and that will be this one here. Okay though, so we're gonna install um, Pure OS to a 32 giga, uh, gigabytes USB stick. You hear that? Nice, huh? That little sound. It's like you're in some hospital. You know, it's a, some monitor connected to somebody or maybe to yourself. Peep. If that is the last peep, then it's not good because then probably you will not be alive anymore. Anyway. Let's quit the joking. This is uh, the boot screen. In fact, I would like to see something nice here. But then again, this is the, the style of the operating system. And then you get pure OS. You see that? Lovely, yeah? It looks nice. You can say what you want. It looks nice. I would do it a bit different, but it looks nice. In my distro, it, I can do whatever I wish. But this is the official distro from Pure OS, and uh, this is uh, yeah the beautiful wallpaper, kind of misty mountain, misty mountain. 
and uh, here we get into a screen where we can choose our language uh, we have several languages here you can see uh, Arabic oh no I don't want Arabic <laughs> I don't even understand Arabic no 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 I, I want English yeah United States okay so now we're gonna choose for an American keyboard QRT and location surfaces we could turn it on or leave it off Dep depends on you okay we can always do that later uh, you can see that the sound is found and we even have Wi-Fi I mean wireless is connected I don't see the Wi-Fi drivers I'm not sure if they are installed but probably they will be and I don't care because I'm not using Wi-Fi on this machine so I'm just we're gonna hit the skip here okay and start using pure OS and that's it you see that so now it's set it up and then we're gonna find the installer install install pure OS okay we're gonna run that one sorry for the stripes in the screen it's gonna start the installer you see that nice huh? it looks very very beautiful I love this installer I wished I had installers like this in my distro but then again my installing goes way faster but it's not so uh, not so neat so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna select the USB stick it's showing 28 gigabytes okay uh, we could manually do that but we can as well uh, oh what should I do here manual partition okay next and uh, this one here um, let me see how we can do that um. now this next part looks kind of challenging but it's not uh, at the bottom select your uh, your your usb drive the one that you uh, are using to install this onto in my case it's the send disk and then you're going to select the drive and at the bottom you can select edit and then uh, make sure to create the x4 partition and set the boot flag on okay so this drive will be formatted to x4 and the boot flag is set to on for this drive now you can go ahead and hit next All right, and then up here, it's gonna partition the drives. Here it is, the 26 gigabytes. You see that? It's gonna change from blue to red, or brown, whatever it's saying there. And now we say install now. Okay, so I'm gonna let this install. These were the first steps to do. Yeah, and then um, when this is done, I'm gonna get back to you about 30 minutes later almost fell to sleep the system is installed fell to sleep yo uh, it's all done so we're gonna restart now uh, peeps and let's see if we if we all did it right and if we can boot from the usb it's saying remove the usb now so i'm gonna remove it we're gonna leave the other one because we installed to that drive it's a usb drive as well so we're gonna boot from it let no 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 oh you're your match so we go there and there you go you see that and now we're gonna go for the first one we're just gonna boot the system for the first time 
with the installing. Makes my day. I'm gonna build a, a brand, brand new, new distro. distro. We're gonna do it on pure OS. I'm gonna build a, a brand, brand new distro. distro. Said I'm gonna build a brand, brand new, new distro. distro. And I'm doing it on pure OS. <clears throat> Cause pure OS data the best. Pure OS, they can't contest. OS beam. beam doing it on pure OS. What Booyaka about boom. them? What you say, peeps? <laughs> uh, what you say? We're gonna make a complete series. Every distro should get its own song, you know, so you can download the distro and you can download the song that goes along with it from the man that you know created the distro. Is that not nice? It's very nice. I don't think we have Linux developers out there that, you know, create a song that goes along with the distro that they create. But it's a good idea. We, should, we, we could do these things, you know? I mean, like if Justin Bieber creates a, a Linux distro and he makes a song on it, everybody's gonna download that distro. So in fact, we should talk to these artists and teach them how to make distros. And then Linux will, will grow to, to very high uh, levels. But we're gonna start with reggae songs. Today I'm gonna create, today we're gonna make a new distro. Boom. Hey, I don't know why this blood clot thing is not. I mean, like, what? 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 What is going on? Load the desktop, no man. Are you stuck already? No. Really? Mouse is stuck. Oh no. I can't believe it. It runs very good on uh, the KDA version. Oh no, don't tell me that I wasted all this time. I could be sleeping now. What is this? Ah, there we are, hello baby. Oh. I don't know what it's doing, it's trying to go on the internet, but I removed the cable, you know? I don't want it to go on the internet now. Eh, eh, you, see, you saw that? <laughs> eh, eh, Jackie Walker just subscribed to your channel. So welcome, Mr. Jackie Walker. Hey, my screen is terrible. What is this? <laughs> oh no oh what is this oh my goodness everything is flipped oh i never had this before today i'm gonna, gonna build, build a new distro today i'm gonna, gonna build, build a new distro and we're doing, doing it on pure os beam so let's just restart this is uh, very good for hologram uh, laptop. Everything in mirror. Hmm? Maybe I should not hit so hard on my keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> it turns the screen. What kind of crazy is this? I never saw a thing like that before, yo. And again, this is free software, so anything can happen, right? No, I'm just kidding, you. This is just fine. This is just a, a boot up. Uh, how you say that? It, it's it just got to get used to the system, you know. These are very sensitive operating systems. 
Today we gonna build, build a new distro. Today we gonna build a new distro. And we're doing it on pure OS. And we're doing it on pure OS. Beam! Pure OS. So I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna hit too hard on it. Cause it don't, this machine don't like to, <laughs> it don't like to get hit too hard. This thing is, uh, what is this? English? Yes, fine. English? Fine. Yes, fine. No. Thank you. Start using pure OS. Oh my gosh. So there we are, my friends. And uh, this is it. It's uh, the GNOME desktop. And here you have all the applications that come with it. It has a complete office built in. It's uh, this 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 build is in fact uh, as well good for tablets, you know. So tablets will be able to use this even better. So yeah, that's it, yo. You can go into rhythm box and you can start listening music out of the box. Um, you can go to radio and listen to Boston NPR news. Of course, it will not play because we are not connected to the internet. But now we are, I just pushed in the cable. Today I'm gonna build a new distro. Or, or maybe, I don't know. Maybe the internet is, is, is not, uh, oh, the internet for cable was not in. I didn't push it into good. I thought maybe the driver was not found, but it is found. Today we're gonna build a new. The recipient system. is not promised. The pressure now falls on language. It's yes, very nice. Today I'm gonna build a new distro, and I'm doing it on pure OS. Beam, doing it on pure OS. You see, we as well have a help section here. Very nice. So yeah. <clears throat> This is pure OS, my friends, and uh, for me, it's gonna end right here because uh, I'm gonna start the building and I'm gonna make my own free uh, software distribution, but I'm gonna do it on pure OS and we'll have to see how far I will be able to come and what we all will be able to do. Uh, will the operating system, yeah, will it, will it become like the ones that I always create or will it become something else? I think it's going to become something else because uh, if we going to check out the add-on sections in Firefox, we're going to find out that we have two, uh, two plugins and if we want to install other plugins, for instance, radio, it will tell us that we can go get a big one. You see that? Only with Firefox. Get Firefox now. I would not do that because this is already Firefox. Okay, and you know why? They blocked all these uh, add-ons because these add-ons, they are all following you around. You see, they are following you around. That is the problem. And that's why, you know, these guys, they don't want it in here. You see? Here you can see uh, settings, disable, you can as well in the privacy here. Let me see how you do that. Somewhere here you should be able to, yeah, here you can block. Block filters, resource, abuse, unbreak, bad risk, privacy. You see all these things are in here. So uh, yeah, you should not uh, want uh, to have uh, too many plugins because yeah, that will not work. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to preferences and then I'm gonna go to search and I'm gonna set the search to, yeah, no, maybe I should leave it on DuckDuckGo otherwise these guys, they will get pissed off with me that I put it on Google, you know. I don't want no, no fight with these free software guys because, yeah, they don't play, you know. They don't like uh, many things they don't like. So you must not, uh, you know what I mean? So what we're going to do, use current page. No, 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 we're going to use, uh, I still want Google as start page to google.com. 
okay and no i want uh, g and u dot org as the first site and google.com as the second site so let's try it see if it works yay it works you see that so that's how it's gonna boot up because i found the distribution on here so this site deserves all the credits is the site from uh, richard stallman i call him uncle richard you know respect for the man he's the father of the free software uh, yeah he don't want to be called the father you know then he feels old so i call him uncle okay you understand so yeah that's uh, about it uh, the company that created this uh, operating system i think it's purism.com i think their site is called or it is maybe purism.org maybe it's .org no Let's, let's find Purism. Purism. No, this is not Purism and it's also not a safe site. So let's go to, let's find Purism. Pure OS. And there it is, pureos.net. So in fact, yeah, this site should as well be added. You see that? This is version 9 you can download here. And they have two versions. Let me see if I can find them for you. I, I got I I went for this version. They as well have the KDA version. That one died on me today. So I'm gonna make sure that this one won't die. Okay. So yeah, that is it. A nice operating system that will become even nicer when I'm done with it, you know. Um yeah, it will become something totally different. And I will leave this uh, for all the tablet users in the in the system. Probably I'm going to do a makeover of the icons. Going to make the system very, very lovely. Okay. And certain settings I will have to turn on. The, the firewall is not available yes firewall configure oh unbelievable i'm very happy to see this in the kda version it was not available so let's see if this will work only yes it's installing today i'm gonna build a new distro today i'm gonna build a new distro and i'm doing it on pure os Yes, I'm doing it on pure OS Beam. Very nice. Lovely. So there you go. This is the store. Okay, you can get all sorts of add-ons. Beautiful add-ons. These are, what are the, oh, these are fonts. And uh, we have uh, productivity. You see that? Very nice store. All powered by Pure OS and all the developers that work on these applications, on this software. So big, great thumbs up to them, okay? Because all the software that you will find in here is free software. And how will you know? Well, for instance, if you go to some package, for instance, let's just get something deepen yeah i'm seeing deepen stuff in here let me see what i can go for guitarix my guitar player is testing guitarix if you got something nice uh, to show uh, i'm gonna record it and make a video about that mediatek view i don't know what this is i want to see this so now you see the little green free thingy there that means that this is free software so you don't have to worry you can include it into your distro Richtig good that is better than npo npo machs uh, drm plug in and we can niet onze tv senders bekoeken dat is toch ook gewoon niet uh, normaal 
als we met de Linux versie, uh, met de, als ik met deze Linux versie naar, naar NPO ga, dan kan ik, uh, kan ik echt geen NPO bekijken. Nee, want dan moet ik weer een DRM installeren. En uh, dat hebben deze jongens niet, hè, in Duitsland. Deze browser die heeft geen DRM. Er is no DRM in deze browser, so ja. Yeah. You cannot watch uh, sites that are working with DRM. Oké, okay, so I think Spotify won't work. I think, I'm not even sure. Spotify will work, but I mean, what is this other called? Netflix. But hey, we have YouTube. Who needs Netflix? Right? And there are so many online, online sites where you can watch series and all these kinds of things. Probably I will put some links uh, as well in the, in the browser. I think I will have to compensate it. Because I think that Cody won't run on the on this machine, at least on this operating system. Today I'm gonna build a new system. Today I'm gonna build a new system, and I'm doing it on pure OS. I think the Cody bin is not allowed to be installed, but I'm not sure. I did it on the other one, so I learned a little bit from the previous uh, adventure that I had on PureOS that ended in a catastrophe, uh, how you say that, um, yeah, it just died on me, yo. I did the cleaning up with bleach it, and all the previous cleanups were just fine. And the last one, I don't know what happened, yo. You see Cody, the following package on met dependencies. This thing won't ever work. So you can forget about Cody. Cody won't work, okay? So no Cody. But hey, don't worry, there are alternatives, yo. Don't worry about that. You don't need Cody. Okay? You don't always need Cody. Things that I found hard to find in uh, in this store these were for instance a, a bootable uh, a USB uh, creator you know and here we see multi writer uh, to multiple USB USB card protect your computer there is no no USB creator and probably there is but I don't know the name So yeah, you guys must as well put the names even better, so we know what we can do. You see that? So it can it can it can copy write an ISO file to multiple USB devices at once. Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't working for me yesterday, so I'm gonna try it one more one more time. Today I'm gonna build a new system. Today I'm gonna build. A, you see, it does not start the Ubuntu. Blah. Only only one 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 stars. So let me see. Let's launch it. Let's see if it works. Today I'm gonna build a new system, and I'm doing it on pure OS. Start copying. I don't wanna copy anything today. No, you see, I, I probably I cannot do it because I'm running the operating system from of USB. I installed it to a USB stick. But there is no such thing as UNet booting or or yeah, start up this creator, start up disk. You see? Start up USB. Nothing. Sure. So yeah, we will need uh, to find alternative ways how to get around in this operating system. But nevertheless, I'm gonna build my distro on here. So I think I'm gonna create the pure pure OS. But then. They have two desktops, they have the KDA and the GNOME. 
So I think I'm gonna push in cinnamon. I'm gonna push in the cinnamon desktop. I want to see cinnamon on this uh, on this operating system and see how it runs. But uh, that's it. Uh, I'm not gonna make this video any longer. It's too long already. It's way too long. You probably never came to the end. Uh, I want to wish uh, yeah the company good luck with uh, yeah with their operating system. I will promote it and I will as well create distros on pure OS and I will try to make them as beautiful as possible okay so yeah then you can download the distros this will this will be uh, system back distributions okay that you could run uh, straight from USB or you could even install it so it's all up to you about the background uh, you won't find too much at this time yet uh, I think if we go to back oh yes there they are this one has some backgrounds built in these were not in the KDA system as I could find you see that nice backgrounds so let me put a nice inspirational desktop so I can start working yes this looks nice in the lock screen oh I think this is the butchy desktop Oh no, this is the GNOME desktop, but but she is a little bit of GNOME and a little bit of Mate. So what kind of login screen shall we use? Today I'm gonna build a new system. And I'm doing it on pure OS. I say we're doing it on pure OS. Beam. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Or the same. We just go for the same. It's nice. Then you immediately get into this. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I hope you like this video. Um, I like the operating system. I, I don't like it. I love it and i'm gonna work on it and you will see the result in the next video i'm gonna create the finder os yeah something like that i have a beautiful uh, idea what i want to uh, build on this and more of that in the next video so if you think this video was cool leave it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel go ahead and find uh, your distribution link in the description and of course leave a nice little comment for pure os and uh, yeah try out the operating system this is a completely free operating system that you can install on computers go read on the gnu website uh, how free software can bring a, a living to you you could you know if you if you know how to uh, get around go read then you know you can you can live on gnu GNU OS. GNU OS is for everybody and uh, yeah, Richard Stallman said, hey, uh, create your distro, open a shop, uh, go sell it, uh, make, make, make money with it if you wish. If you don't, then, then you're probably unknown and you're not doing it too good then. That's uh, what Stallman is saying and I agree with him. It's uh, a nice way to if you know what to do and if you know how to create distros uh, to bring them to yeah to the users yourself you know you could stand on markets you could rent a place and have some linux distro uh, giveaway day you know and then invite people etc etc all these things you can do but you will have to do it yourself okay so yeah i want to thank the gnu uh, software foundation Richard Stallman, Purism, Pure OS developers, thank you very much. I like what you're doing and I will promote it here on Channel 48.